going, man? You know, I'm in here. On bright side? Sorry, uh, yeah. oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> on bright again? Done? Okay, may I please see your driver's license? Yeah, sure. Let me just switch off. Day three of our adventure um, at about 8.15 in the morning. We are just about to leave for our trip through the Bavians. It's going to take about a day, well, six to eight hours to get through there. Um, the weather looks pretty good again. A little bit of wind this morning, but I think that might die down. Yesterday at the end of the day, we had to park on the other side of the river. Um, it seems like the farm management has decided to dig up the existing bridge and put in new piping for a new bridge and they said they wanted to do that before the rain comes so uh, we happened wait a minute Yo, that is so, warm. Yeah. so what we had to do this morning was carry all of our belongings through the riverbed and back to the back to the car it wasn't that far it's about 100 meters but still <laughs> it was a lot closer when we got here we're also planning on stopping somewhere in the Bavians uh, probably around about 10 o'clock and having a little gas pan scuttle breakfast um, <laughs> with some leftovers that we had uh, from last night some sausage and some steak um, so not sure not exactly sure where we're going to stop but we'll find somewhere to stop it's quite obvious where we were staying as you can see from the sign in the background over there it's uh, a uh, we eventually found the <laughs> the name of the house we're going to start uh, walking back to the car now um, so let's go and have a look at what we had to deal with <laughs> That's where we had to go to, um, that's with the vehicle and then we had to pass through the Stry River bed to get uh, all of our stuff back. It wasn't too bad but you know, a little bit out of the ordinary I suppose. just about to leave Kurukaya and uh, this is basically the entrance to the farm um, and yeah we're gonna we're gonna go to the gate to the Belvians it's about four kilometers um, further and we've got to buy a permit and then once we've done that we can enter and basically spend the day driving through the reserve that should be should be quite fun what we thought we heard baboons yesterday and uh, you could hear it calling uh, very loudly so there's definitely a lot of baboons and that's probably why they've got a they've got a concrete or <laughs> concrete baboon sitting on the on the sign. <laughs> okay, cool, let's get going. Which way do we go? Which way do we go? Straight. Down there. Down that way. Okay. Thank you.
arrived at uh, Bath Plus. I'm not quite sure on the map where it is, but it's probably one of the first stops. We came up the side of the, up the side of the mountain pass so far. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the, you too, eh? the, the trip. Yeah, yeah we'll see you soon. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for stopping. No problem. <laughs> Cheers. So, we just came across another couple um, driving in their backy. They're also doing the Bavian's tour and uh, they're doing it in the opposite direction to what we are. And we've kind of met about halfway, but it's quite, quite funny. <laughs> they stopped. Uh, uh, they stopped opposite us and uh, started speaking Afrikaans to us. And of course, I tried to speak Afrikaans back to them. Um, funny thing is, we both English. So <laughs> once uh, once I realised I couldn't carry on, I actually told him, told the guy I'm English, and he said, "Yeah, oh, sorry, he's English too. Can we rather speak? Can we rather speak English?" <laughs> so, <laughs> quite strange, but I assume in this part of the world that uh, there are quite a lot of Afrikaans people. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's quite a nice little uh, section that we're going through right now. Just arrived at Duitsklip, um, Duitsklip campsite. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's about halfway, or near halfway, and uh, we're probably gonna stop here, have a picnic, and yeah, just take a little break, and then we're gonna carry on. Um, we'll see how that goes. There's a bathroom in the middle of the bush that we found. Um, it's actually quite a nice one. Have a look at that. Turns out it's a long drop. No flushing required.
is, what is this, Roy Hook, Roy Hook campsite. It's now one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so we've been driving for about two and a half hours. We actually just went to go and have a look at the campsites at Roy Hook. Um, no unauthorized entry. We just went in anyway, because there wasn't a lock on the gate. <laughs> um, and it looks quite nice. So there's no electricity or uh, like running running water as such. The only running water you've got is in the river. Uh, but it looks very nice. Uh, quite secluded. Very quiet. Um, and there were what were there were two yeah. two campsites were occupied. It seems like there's six campsites and two of them had people on it. Um, so yeah, it's yeah, it might be nice to stay there at one at some stage. Um, I think we've. Basically, we're heading towards Willamore, so uh, we've got about another 132 k's to go, and it says 3 hours 50, so another 4 hours um, of driving. Yeah, I don't know what else to say, other than it's quite a beautiful drive and I'm glad we've done it. arrived at Smith's Kroll, what is it? Smith's Kroll. Um, and it's now 5 to 2 in the afternoon and uh, it looks like this is the place where we're going to stop and have some lunch. Uh, we'll do like a little pan fry sausage and, and steak. Maybe spend about half an hour here and then we'll get going again. Um, it's actually quite nice, nice and sheltered here. It's, you know, the, wind, the wind I can see is blowing up on the mountains but, but down here not really. Um, and we actually just went through not a, uh, quite a nice long drift, um, which was, I don't know, nice to clean the tires off. <laughs> um, and the, we, we saw some baboons floating around, but I think they've run off, run off now. Um, and we also saw a, um, a kudu, uh, it, was, it looked like a young bull, and then some daka, which was, yeah, it was nice. Um, and it looks like from here we've got another 3 hours and 20 minutes to, to get to Willamore. What's that, 100 and, 130 kilometers? Uh, so not too far. And yeah, we should, I reckon we'll get out by about 5 o'clock this afternoon. Well, at least out of the Baviaans, which is perfect. Okay, we'll chat to you after lunch.
we've uh, just finished our lunch at Smith's Kral. Um It was a little half an hour stop and uh, we kind of had to rush a little bit at the end because there was a baboon that was circling around us. It looked like it wanted to come steal our food. So uh, luckily we finished in time and he didn't come steal our food. We left a half a sandwich there for him so I'm sure he'll be happy about that. Oh, actually, maybe here he is, yeah, <laughs> in the center of the road. Yep, it looks like him, same one. It was, uh, it was watching us eat, eat breakfast, oh, eat, eat lunch. There he goes there. Cool, okay, so, uh, yeah, as I said, we've left, we've left uh, Smith's Crawl now and we've probably got another two and a half to three hours to drive um, i don't know it was about another 130 kilometers but uh, this section of road should be pretty good uh, well according to what i read on the internet um, we've we've got through the worst section and this is this is like just general gravel road but we'll see what happens cool.
Thank you. Thank you. Bye. We've uh, finally made it to the end of the Bavians, I suppose, <laughs> drive, nature drive. It's been quite a nice experience. Uh, I would recommend anybody with a 4x4 or a Bucky does it. Well, if it's not, if it hasn't been raining, if it's been raining, yeah, probably not. <laughs> but uh, what's happened is uh, yesterday we started over here, Komdomo, and we entered uh, yesterday evening, and we went along there, and then we went past the interpretive center, and we stayed uh, somewhere around this area at Kurukaya. Then we moved on to this morning. Uh, we drove through Puerkis Gate, and then we went all the way along like that. And then we went through Bergplas, and then we went down the side of the mountain towards the rivers. And you can see there was Duet's Clip that we went through, Royhook, and Smitskroll. And this Smitskroll is where we had our little uh, lunch. And then we carried on all the way up, all the way up. And then we drove past Gilhoutbos. We didn't stop because it was getting quite late. And as it says, you are here. There we go. So we made it to the Western Gate. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many kilometers it was, but it was good fun. <laughs>